Hello, this is Nick with NicksComputerFix.com and here's how to get Windows 10 Technical Preview for free. Okay, to start with, let's go ahead and open up an internet browser. Whether it's IE or Firefox or whatever, I did a search on Google for Windows 10 Download. The first listing is one that I'm going to go ahead and click on, Download Windows Technical Preview ISO from Microsoft. That takes me to the Microsoft download page for the Download Windows uh, Technical Preview. But before I download, I'm going to click on System Requirements to make sure that I do have all the requirements. And Microsoft makes you click on System Requirements again. Don't know why, but that's what they make you do. All right, just to name a few, you need a one gigahertz processor or faster. You need one gigabyte or two gigabytes of memory, depending on 32-bit or 64-bit operating system, and you need 16 gigabytes of uh, storage space. Okay, let's go ahead and right-click here and uh, go back to the download page. At this point, once you've met the uh, requ system requirements, we can go ahead and download the Windows disk image and uh, I'm going to click on the 64-bit. You might want to click on the 32-bit operating system, but 64 works for me because uh, I have a 64-bit uh, test machine. All right, let me click on the download here. And uh, at this point, I want to go ahead and save it to my hard drive, and I want to go ahead and put it into a folder that's uh, the download uh, folder. I'm going to click that, and I'm going to leave the name the same. That works for me and uh, click on the save button here and at that point the download process begins now through video editing this is going to be quickly done or quickly seen but it can take up to 30 to 40 minutes depending on the speed of your computer and how fast um, your internet uh, connection is but once it's completed um, you can go ahead and click on open folder and as you can see there's the ISO image that uh, I'm ready to uh, install and uh, once you do install it um, Windows 10 will look like this when you click on the start menu alright um, that's it for this video subscribe and like my video